לא. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Ready, ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Yes, Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Rosalie. Hello. Okay, we are ready to start now. I got 12, I need to wait a little bit in order that the rest of the class can connect. Okay, welcome. Ya no alguien escribió el teacher, estoy en la clase, pero hasta las nueve podría activar el audio. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm still on. Okay, let us see what we have now here. Okay, let me see. I got 15. Bien, ya tenemos 15. Vamos a, we are going to start now. Vamos a iniciar. Let me show you the topic that we are going to see today. And our topic for today is going to be this. Let me show you here. Okay, this is class number four. Let me get bigger. Possessive adjective and nouns. That is the topic for today. That means that we need to focus our attention in this topic. But before to start with the new topic, let us make a look. And today we are going to practice a tongue twister. Do you know what is a tongue twister in Spanish? ¿Saben lo que es un tongue twister en Spanish? Okay. 
No. 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 Traba lengua. Eso es correcto. Okay. Bueno, me recuerdan pasar la lista porque ya cuando comienzo se me olvida, me emociono y se me olvida. Ok, teacher. Me a acordar, entonces yo voy a confiar en ustedes. Ok, I'm going to read it. Uh, don't, don't believe. <laughs> don't trust. <laughs> no, no se confíen, don't trust, don't trust. <laughs> ok. Ok, dice. Betty Butter bought some butter. But she said the butter is bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a little better butter will make my butter better. So, first, better butter, but a bit of better butter. Ahorita no se preocupen por el significado. No entendí que dijo. un poco a a ejercitar su lengua, que es lo que busca. Ok. Ok, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Dice, very butter, but some butter. But she said the butter is bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So, was better very butter, but a bit of better butter. ¿Alguien se atreve a leerlo? Vamos, necesitamos práctica. Hola. Hola, hola, hola. ¿Quién se atreve? Mi teacher. Ok, va a ser después de don Armando y don que levantó la mano ahí. Ok. También don Armando. Ya puedo encender el micrófono. Dice don Armando. Escucha. Hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Go ahead, go ahead. For you, sir, please. Initiate. No está listo. Bueno, si no está listo, le damos paso entonces a Evelyn. Evelyn. Very butter about some butter. Good side of butter. Bitter it put in in my butter. It will make me butter bitter. Good up of butter. Butter will make me butter bitter. <laughs> better, better butter. Both a bit of better butter. Okay. Okay, somebody else, alguien más? Bueno, ahí tenemos a Natalie. Natalie. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Um, very poor, bow, summer, butter. Bushy side, they bought bitter. If I am put. I eat my butter. It will make me butter bitter. 
but a bit of better butter will make me butter better. Two, two suas very, very, very butter, bow a bit of better butter. Okay. Quien sigue, veamos. Ahí tengo a Ingrid, que está de listener, pero está con mano arriba, entonces puede. Está listener, listener. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Yeah, bye bye. Uh, better butter, bow some butter. But she said the butter is better. If I put my butter, I will make. Um, I will make my butter better. But a bit of butter, butter, will make my butter better. So what's better? Very butter, but a bit of butter, butter. Okay, very butter, but a bit of butter, butter. Okay. okay. Ahí va el ejercicio, ahí va el ejercicio. Okay, excellent, excellent. Somebody else, one more. And then I need to check out the attendance. Uno más y voy a checar la asistencia. Ismael Ernesto. Smell. Smile. Go ahead, sir. No está Ismael? Sorry, sorry. I don't check my microphone. <laughs> but now you can do it. Okay, okay. Very butter, about some butter, but she says the butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, I will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better, better butter will make my butter better. So that's better. Betty butter bought a bit of better butter. Aquí, okay, right here, twas, twas, so twas. Twas. Eso es igual a decir, it was. It's a contraction. So, twas. twas. Twas, very, very, very. Yeah. Twas, the, very, 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 very. Okay, Alejandro. Who you do this? Alejandro, Alejandro, adelante. Do it, do it, do it, do it, sir. I don't know if you can hear me very well. No? Yvette, Yvette, do it, Yvette. Okay, very water about some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit, but a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So what's better? Very butter, but a bit of better butter. Okay. Okay, let me stop here. And I need to check up the attendance now. We are very sorry, assistance. Let me do it now. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Perdón, eh, me falló el micrófono, pero ya lo arreglé. Ah, okay, no, normal. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, Ana Victoria. Present. Okay, is there. Andres. Andres. Angel no. Giovanni. Present, okay. teacher. Ahí está, ahí está. 
Brenda Natalie. Brenda? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carlos? Hello. Hi. Okay. Uh, Diana Yamile? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Erica, Erica Veronica? Present teacher. Okay. Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. My Ernesto. Present. Okay, next one, Jose Alejandro. I hear teacher. Okay. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Okay. As soon as you mention your name, so please turn off, turn off your microphone, please. Okay, Katia Maria. Present teacher. Okay, so Katia Maria is there too. Uh, Luis Armando. Present. Okay. Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Michael Enrique. Present. Okay. Rosalie. Present. Sandra Ivet. Sandra I'm here, Ivet. teacher. Okay. Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay. And it's missing only Andres Leonardo. I don't see Andres Leonardo. Okay. Okay, let us continue then. Leo en un momento se va a conectar. Hola. Andrés Leonardo. Andrés Leonardo se conectará en un momento. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, solo estamos viendo unas cosas de trabajo, pero ella se va a conectar. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. As soon as he connect, uh, so please let me know. Tan pronto él se conecte, por favor me avisan. Ok, ok. Para, para poder asignarle la, la asistencia. Okay, we are going to make a review related with the spelling. And we are going to, okay, let us do it in this way first. Okay, you are going to think in three different words. Ustedes van a pensar en tres, tres palabras diferentes, pero asegúrense de que estén bien escritas en inglés. 
I'm going to give you one minute in order that you can write them down in your notebook. Les doy un minutito para que la escriban en un cuadernito. Asegúrense de que esté bien, por favor. Es solo para hacer un review. ¿Acerca de qué, teacher? Cualquier palabra que, que, que tenga ahí en, 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 the, en the tip of your tongue. Cualquier palabra que se le venga. Ya. ¿Ya la tienes? Yes. Ok. And, and do you know how to how to pronounce it? ¿Saben cómo se pronuncia? I suppose. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Okay, imagine this. Veamos. I'm going to give you an example. Let, let me choose someone. Voy a elegir a alguien así al azar, rapidito. Um, Enrique Alvarado. Are you there, Enrique? Enrique. Hi, teacher. Okay, how, how do you spell the word baby? How do you spell the word baby? Yes. Oh. Eh, podría, eh, how do you say, mm, spell in Spanish, please? Uh, no, 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 no. Ok, hold on, hold on. El, el verbo spell es deletrear. ¿Cómo deletrea usted la palabra baby? Baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, B. Uh, y B B Y Satya B Y B Y Satya No 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 What about you the same word I'm sorry, ese tuve problema con mi internet y me sacó. Y oh. ahorita está todo congelado, entonces no sé si está proyectando algo. Ok, don't worry. Armando, tell me. Sorry. B A B Y. Again. B A B why okay 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 let us start with um veamos con que okay uh julia janet choose someone elige a alguien por favor eh, por nombre teacher yes 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 eh, mayra okay. elizabeth tell her tell her uh the word and ask her to spell it Dígale, pronunciale la palabra y pídale que se la dé el tres. Um, please, uh, spell, spelling, um, painting. Painting. P A I N T and G. That's correct. The correct, the correct answer. Thank. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Maria, Alejandro. Okay, teacher. 
eh, tres palabras, dijo Seba. Yeah, but you are going to mention one right now. Ah, ok. Eh, tengo... K-I-T-Y. No, 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 no. You need to tell, to tell uh, the word and somebody else is going to spell it. Usted solo eh, va a decir... My... Usted solo va a decir uh, la palabra y la otra persona lo va a deletrear. Ok. Eh, but, but first Ever... of all, you need to choose someone. Eh, Ibel Mendoza, nosotros. Ok. Okay, tell the word, tell the word. Dile, dile, dile la palabra, por favor. Uh, can you spelling? Spell? Uh, uh, nosotros. We are. We. Oui. W E. R. A R E. Okay. That's who. Evelyn. Okay, thank, thank you, thank you. Let me switch a little bit. Vamos a hacer un cambiecito aquí porque vamos a ponerle un poco más de, de, de emoción porque así veo que no, no me funciona. Okay, I got it here. Okay, take a look at this. You are going to select one uh, category that that all. I I have more than them. See more than ten. Okay, I need that somebody of you choose one category. Let, let, me, let, me, let me choose someone. The one that uh, had the, the hand up, ¿Quién fue el último que tenía su mano arriba? Yo, teacher. No, había alguien más después de usted. Ah, oh, ok. Yo, teacher, lo que pasa es de que eh, me quería disculpar porque había quitado un eh, desactivado la cámara, pero es que estoy durmiendo okay. a mi bebé, pero ya estuvo. Ok, no problem. Ok, elija de lo que ve ahí, por favor, elija una categoría que le guste. Teacher, ya se conectó Andrés Leonardo. Perdón. Ya se conectó Andrés Leonardo, dice. Ah, ok. Bueno, lo vamos a hacer que hable por ahí. Y que nos diga hello. Ok, what I need is that you, you choose one of these categories. Lo que necesito es que elijan una de las categorías que tenemos aquí. Pero tiene que ser para Stephen Harvey. Transport. Which one? Okay, this one. Transport. Okay, this one. Okay, now, okay, <laughs> try to read all the names that I have here. Traten de leer todos los nombres que están ahí donde dice select content. This is buy, bus, car, motorbike, plane, ship, taxi, train, truck, walking. Ambulance, elevator, escalator, fire, engine, glider, helicopter, rocket, skateboarder, tractor, and van. Okay, here we go. Veamos qué se te va a suceder. Hmm. I'm waiting for the... Okay, okay, let me choose someone of you. Veamos uh, Diana y Amilet. 
give me a letter, the name of the letter, the one that they start this picture. Una okay. letra con la que inicia el nombre de esta imagen. Um, 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 B. Okay, B, 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 okay. Okay, next one, next one. La I. La siguiente letra, okay, I. Next. Hey. K. C. Let us see. C. C. Uh -uh. K. Ah, K. OK, K. And the last one? E. Letter? E. 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 Vaya, ahorita hemos estado como que es piñata, pero hoy vamos a ir uno a uno. Only one, only one. I'm going to choose someone. Elijo a alguien. Esmeralda, tell me. Letter. Sería... No, no, no sé cómo se escribe avión en inglés. Aparecían en las palabras que estaban arriba. Sí, las leí, pero, pero no, no, no sé cómo se escribe avión. Ok, ok, ok. Alejandro, John. Eh, eh, Transport. No. The name of this of this aeroplane. How do you spell it? Uh, a R. No, no. Oh, hold on, hold on. Letter by letter. You say A. It's not there. Por lo tanto, no comienza con esa letra. Choose another one. ¿Y? ¿Y? No. P. Ah, ok. P, bingo. Next one. L. L. A. 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 Okay. L. 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 This one. L. N. No L. N. Ah, N. Listen. N. N. I. I, this one? I. T. E. 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 Sorry, e. sorry. Todavía tenemos problemas con las vocales. Okay, let me choose someone else. Voy a elegir los demás, por favor. Denle tiempo a quien elija para que busque, busque en su mente. Ángel. Is your turn, Ángel? Hi. Hi, teacher. Okay, spell, spell. La palabra va a ser yo. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is tell the word. Lo primero que vamos a hacer es decir la palabra. Por ejemplo, la figura es, yo digo car, okay, the spell it. Car, C A R. Okay, hold on. C A R. Okay. Uh, 
Veamos, Natalie, your turn. Um, I don't know, teacher. No idea, okay. Uh, let me see somebody else. How about you, Marvin? Yes, uh, tractor. Okay, spell it. Uh, T. R. A. C. T. O. R. Bingo. Okay, Katia, Maria. Yes, uh, bus. How do you spell it? B. Okay, B. U. U. S. S. ¿Cómo dice? Bus. Bus. Okay, thank you. Let me see the time. Okay, I need to see the computer. No se les olvide que inmediatamente después de su participación cerramos el micrófono, por favor. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see, let me see someone. I'm going to choose someone. Diana Yamilet, will you tell me the vowels, please? Pronuncie me la vocale, por favor. In English as well. Okay, teacher. A, B, C, no, 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 only, only the vowels, solo las vocales. Ah, okay. A, B, C, I, U. Let, let, let me show some, I want to share some. I'm trying to share with you. La vocal. Okay, hold on. No sé si me equivoqué, pero pensé que era la vocal. <laughs> okay, don't worry about Okay, uh, before uh, to do that, I, I need to be sure that how many of you can see my whiteboard. ¿Cuántos de ustedes pueden ver la pizarra que tengo aquí compartiendo? Yes, teacher. ¿Todos? Sí, sí, I sí. Claro. Yes, teacher. Yes, sí, teacher, I can see. Yes. Si ¿Sí se, sí se ve o no se ve. Yes, I can see. Yes, teacher. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, okay, let, let us do something else. Hagamos algo antes. Um, I need that all of you try to write your name, your first name in the book. Hagamos algo. Eh, intenten escribir su primer nombre en la pizarra. Vamos a ver cuántos lo pueden hacer. Solo un nombre, por favor. Uno, uno. Tu primer nombre. Ok, para que lo hagan más facilito y no es... Denle donde está la letra T. 
ahí le va a salir más fácil. Okay, I guess it's time is over. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on a second. Stop, stop doing that, stop doing that. Okay, hacemos un alto ahí. Esto nos va a servir incluso para cuando tengamos que escribir algunas oraciones o diálogos. No sé si logran ver la barra que tengo en la Sí, Teacher, yo no puedo, no sé si es por el celular. Ah, ok. Maybe it's because that's all. And I'm pretty sure if uh, all of you can. can... Yo tampoco pude, teacher. Estoy en el celular. Ah, okay. Igual tampoco puedo verlo. Ah. Yo no lo puedo ver completo, teacher. Sí, sí puedo ver la pizarra, pero no, no me deja verla completa tampoco. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um Okay, Julia, could you spell your name? Um Julia? Uh, yes. Okay. The spell? Hello? Hello? Uh, spell, spell. Yeah, yes, spell. Okay. Um, J U L I E. Okay. Armando, spell your name, please. I R M. No, perdón. Sorry, sorry. A R M A N D O. <laughs> K A T T Y A. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm going to close my whiteboard and I need to go back again to my presentation. Hold on a second because I'm losing some, some windows that I don't need. Estoy cerrando una ventana que no necesito.
here. Here. Okay, this is the main topic for us uh, today. And I got a question, what are the possessive adjectives? What do you know about that? What do you remember? What are the possessive adjectives? My. Ah, okay. His. Your. Okay. His. But in this case, I'm asking you the, the concept of what, what what is what is the concept of the possessive? Okay, I got it in Spanish. Las palabras que se usan para indicar a quién pertenece el sujeto u objeto de la oración y va seguido de un sustantivo, es decir, de un nombre. And I got it here. Okay, repeat my. 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 My, 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 your, my, 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 you there. 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 Yeah. Okay, again. Somebody wants to read it. My. 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 Okay, you. Continue. Continue, Natalie. Your. 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 His. His. Her. His. Her. Her. Okay, remember that right here there is a mistake. It's it. it. Yeah, let, it's, let, I'm gonna put it in the right way. It eat it, yeah. it. It's in this way. It. Okay, and now we are going to see how we are going to use it. We are, we are going to use my, for example, I say my name is. Or maybe I can say, this is my mouse. This is my mouse. I'm using my. Or somebody could say, my mother name is Gloria. My brother name is Roberto. My car is blue. My house is, and I can give a lot of example using mine. Okay, what about you? I need that all of you uh, give me at least two examples using mine in order to go to the next one. This is my car. Okay, another one. My pencil. My cell phone. Okay. My boss. Okay, my, uh, what else? My little baby. Okay, your little teddy. What about yours? Your name is Rosalie. Your, your socks. My? Your microphone <laughs> is um, 
Your microphone is not working properly. Your cat. Ok, pero necesito que ya la oración me la vayan haciendo más larga. De, ya no de dos palabras, sino de tres o cuatro. Para que aumentemos vocabulario así rápido. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, I can say your house is really big. Ya no digo solo your house, no. Ok, ok, ok. Go ahead, go ahead, if you have it there. Your cell phone uh, is, is nice. Okay, your cell phone is expensive. Oh, okay. Su celular es caro. Oh, okay. What else? Your house is very beautiful. Okay, try to keep in mind because we are going to study in a different context. Mantengan en mente, por favor, la pronunciación. My, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. Because I need to move forward. Okay. Which, uh, sorry, sorry. I got it here. Don't worry. I got it here. Okay, ahí está la traducción para que no haya problema. This is level one. Let me erase this one. Okay. Okay, repeat again. My. My. my your. 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 Okay, our, 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 your, 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 your there. 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 Okay, okay, take a look, take a look at that. Take a look at that, please. And also, uh, as you can see here, I can use mine in both ways, in singular and plural. Puedo usarlo en singular o plural. Puedo decir, my house is big. Or I can say, my shoes are black. Y ahí estoy diciendo, mis zapatos son black. Or, for example, your name is Rosy. Your eyes are so beautiful. Entonces estoy usando ambos, singular y plural. What about his? We are going to use his when we talk about him. Cuando hablo de él, ese va a ser el posesivo, his. Si digo el nombre de él es, o su nombre es. His name is eh, Rafael. I want to talk about a lady. I'm going to say her name is Janet. But if I refer to an animal or a scene, si me refiero a un animal o una cosa, I can say its tail is long. Su cola es larga. Me estoy refiriendo a un animalito, ¿cierto? Entonces, este it sin el apóstrofe, Significa su. ¿Sí? O si está hablando de, 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 de su carro, usted dice, its color is green. Su color es verde. Ok, our, when we talk about our, we can mention our family is really big. Estamos hablando de nuestra familia. Our company, okay. Your, I can say, uh, your team, your team is so smart. Su equipo es muy inteligente.
And the last one, their names are, los nombres de ellos son, their names are Mauricio and Roberto. Okay, any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Yes. Okay, tell me. Um, which is the difference with you use, uh, when you use it's or your? No se refiere a objeto siempre cuando usted utiliza it's y your. No. El único que voy a usar para objetos o animales es it. Ahora aquí yo tengo sí. dos. Tengo uno que está en singular, que también lo puedo usar plural. Este y este. Es se que escriben, es, se escriben es, igual. Escuché que dijo your uh, no sé qué es inteligente. Uh, I, said, I said your team, your team, tu equipo, tu equipo. Ah, pero hablando de, de grupo. Sí, de personas. Ah, ok. Eh, eh, pensé que era algún equipo inteligente. De... No, 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 no me refería a un equipo tecnológico. Gracias, gracias, Ticha. <ríe> no, 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 sí, está bien que preguntes eso, porque... Okay, okay. Um, I don't know if you have uh, another question related with this. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, I try already explain this. No se diferencia el singular del plural. And I'm going to give you some examples. My car, my cars, my book, my books. Okay, could you give me some example using singular and plural? They had S. My computer, my computers. Okay. Okay, but my. I'll try to try to use a different name. Tratemos de usar, por ejemplo, un nombre diferente. You can say, for example, my computer is too fast. And also you can say my notebooks uh, are on my desk. Porque lo que quiero es que vayamos haciendo más grande la frase. Okay, somebody else, give me an example. My car is very comfortable. Okay. In, in plural? My cars are very uh, comfortable. Okay, using the same name, car. Cars. Okay. My cars are very comfortable. Okay, I got you. Okay, let me see what else we have here. Cuando se habla de una persona, debemos usar hair. I already explained this. O his, para identificar el género. Hair is a woman, his is a man. Example, Sign lives in UK, his house is white. Okay. No sabemos aquí, eh, estos nombres no los conocemos, no son familiares. Al momento de mencionar esto donde dice his house is white, entonces me da una luz y me dice que está hablando de que de un hombre. Okay. Okay. And what about this Miley lives in New York City. Her house is white. Mujer. Woman. Woman. Okay, okay. Okay, excellent. And I already explained you this. If se habla de un animal o cosa, se debe utilizar its example. The dog lives in London. Its name is Kevin. ¿Quién vive en London? Y su nombre es Kevin.
What is the meaning of the word dough? I don't know, teacher. Y eso hasta ah, una marca. Yo sé dough. Hasta una marca y tiene la figura del dough. It's a beer. Jabón. Paloma. Sí, sí, pero en este caso we are talking about an animal. I don't, I don't know. Por ahí se lo mencionaron. Un perrito. It's a dog. What is a dog? Un jabón. It's a bear. It's a bear. It's a bear. That's my hijo Paloma. Okay. Okay, for the reason we use it, because it's an animal, it's an animal. Por esa razón usamos it. Okay, uh, before to go to the next uh, possessive nouns, I would like to be pretty sure that you already got how we are going to use possessive adjectives. Antes de pasar a los nombres posesivos, quiero estar seguro that you are going to be able to use possessive adjectives. Okay, let, let, let me do this. I need that you choose serious then, elija tres de los posesivos and try to create three uh, different sentences. Pero ya no las escriban, traten de crearlas en su mente. Usando tres eh, adjetivos posesivos diferentes. Le doy, uh, I'm going to give you two minutes to do it. Dos minutos para hacerlo. Pensando, pensando, pensando. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, Maida, will you start? Um, the first, your book is very nice. Um, uh, the next, my house is green color. And our family is extensive. Okay, thank you, Armando. Okay. Uh, your shoes are red. Okay. And my t-shirt is red too. Okay. The next, uh, um, her dog is very big. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? My cell, uh, my pet, my cell is expensive. His backpack is big, and your books are um, interesting. Okay.
Next. Hi, teacher. Uh, um, my book is very interest, interesting. Uh, my books, uh, my books um, have many pictures and, and your parents uh, are young. Okay. Recuérdense que ahorita solo estoy como enfocándome en los posesivos. Okay, uh, Evelyn. My house is great. You are small. Her car is real. Okay, Jose Alejandro. Uh, our kids very funny. Her she drive work. My parents are asleep. Okay. Somebody else? See, you must. Me, teacher. Okay. My glasses are new. Her hair is brown. Or pet is funny. Okay. Okay, let us wait a little bit. I'm going to show you something else. And you are going to resolve your map group. Okay, instead of a resolver este en sus cuadernos. Okay, write my ear, his hair, it's our and there. And then we are going to compare with the rest of the class. I'm going to give you like a five minutes in order that you can resolve. You can make an screenshot. Voy a hacer una captura, por favor. If somebody can share it in the WhatsApp group, it's gonna be better. Si alguien la pudo hacer y la comparte en el grupo de WhatsApp, sería mejor. Okay, thank you. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, and now start working. Try to resolve.
finish, teacher. Okay, hold on a second, please. And espera un segundito que terminemos de más in order to compare. Finish. Okay, I'm going to waiting for the rest. Okay, are you ready? In order that we can compare the answers. Not yet.
still waiting for the rest. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Ready. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ready. Ready. Okay, hold on a second, please. Un par de segundos, por favor. She has to read it and include the word that is missing. Okay, you it. Who you do it, please? Mommy and Kellen are studying. Their school is big. Okay, their school is big. Let it be. Somebody mm -hmm. else, please. I am a taxi driver. This is my taxi. Okay, um, I'm a taxi driver. This is my taxi. Okay, let us see. Somebody else, please. You are musical is bass, it's piano, piano. You're a musician, is that? That is your piano. piano. Okay. Let it be. You are music. <laughs> the horse is brown. Its tail is black. Okay, that's why the horse is brown. Its tail is black. Teacher, I have a question with the C. Okay, let us see. Okay. Uh, she's she said you're a musician. Is that its piano? No, it's your piano. Uh, yeah, okay, but she used it in there. No, 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 no. Sí, pero ella utilizó it en lugar de your. Yeah, 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 I got, I got you, I got you. And thank you for remember us. Sí, porque ahí se está refiriendo a es ese su piano, tu piano. Entonces no puede usar it. Aunque se esté hablando del piano, no podemos usar it. Al menos que esté hablando de características del piano. Ok, okay next. Ok, letter E. Okay, He's a doctor. This is his God. Is cut, okay. Letter F. Maria. We are we are tennis players. Players, these are the our tennis rackets. Okay, repeat again, please. Repeat again, please. We are tennis players. These are our tennis rackets. Ah, okay, our, our tennis rackets. Okay, any questions so far from here? No? No questions? Okay, I'm going to go back to... 
previous presentation, let me see if I have it. Teacher. No. Cuando, no me quedo claro, cuando es que usamos their? Es su o sus, pero eh, refiriéndonos a qué? ¿Cuándo usamos? There. 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 Sí. Okay, let me show you how. When we talk about uh, they, if the pronoun is they, we are going to use they. Si el pronoun is ellos, vamos a decir su de ellos. Okay. Clear or not, or not clear? Let, let me share something here. Okay, based on the material, based on our material, how to use possessive? Okay, take a look only as for this one. And you see, this is the personal front I. The possessive adjective is my. You is your. He is his. She is her. It, it's, we, our, and they, theirs. Of course, you need to know what is the meaning of this personal pronoun in order that you can use this one too. Debemos de saber el significado de los pronombres para luego ver cuál es el adjetivo posesivo que lo va a acompañar cuando sea posesión. En este caso, they significa ellos, ellas. Entonces, si yo digo their names are, los nombres de ellos son, o sea, estoy usando mi, the same situation, right? Clear? Or not clear. Sí, entendido, teacher. Okay. Gracias. Okay, thank you. But let me continue with my presentation. Go. Here, second, here we already talked about possessive adjective. What about possessive nouns? How we are going to create possessive nouns? What are the possessive adjectives? We already talked about this. Okay, one second. Okay, we already share these examples. And we are going to talk only us about this. Para crear un possessive noun, solo tenemos que agregar al sustantivo un apóstrofe y la letra S. Ojo con esto. Example, my sister house. Their son friends. Mary shoes, the boy's toy, the boy's toys. Okay, take a look at the examples. Aquí estoy creando nombres posesivos. En vez de decir, como se decía antes, eh, the house of my sister, ya no, eso no, ahora lo hacemos más fácil, my sister house. But we need to add an S right here, an apostrophe and S. My sister house, their sons, friends. ¿Qué, qué dice en esta oración en español? Dime. Los hijos de mis amigos. Ah, eso me imaginé que pensaron. Pero ojo, es un posesivo. 
aquí es singular. Esto que está aquí en apóstrofe y la S no lo hace. Vale. Los es? amigos de mi hijo. Es. Ah, exactamente. Exactamente. What about the power in my sister's house? La casa de mi hermana. Ah, ok, perfecto. Mary shoes. Mary shoes. Los zapatos de Mary. Ok, the boy's toy. El juguete del niño. Ok, and the last one, the boy's toys. Los juguetes del niño. Ok. Entonces, ¿eso qué nos indica? ¿Qué podemos inferir? Que yo puedo hacer un nombre, lo puedo hacer posesivo, and I can use it with singular and plural. ¿Sí? Lo puedo usar en ambos, singular y plural. ¿De acuerdo? Okay, yes. ya, me, ya me van a hacer un par de ejemplos. Bueno, no, hemos tocado ahí solamente la parte más superficial, talking about possessive names. But I need that you give me some examples. I can say my father, my father's name. Sí, ¿qué estoy diciendo? El nombre de mi padre. El nombre de mi padre. El nombre de mi padre. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I need that you give me some example related with that. Try to think. ¿Cómo vamos a ser posesivos? Piensa, piensa, piensa. Agregándome la apóstrofe y la S. Okay, give me some examples. Eh, bueno, los ejemplos que acabamos de ver. Pero no me quedó muy claro, pero sí, vamos. Por ejemplo, para construir las palabras se me dificultaría un poco. Por el momento. Okay, en español. Para que le quede claro. Si usted quiere decir el carro de María, no me va a decir the car of Mary, sino que lo vamos a hacer más práctico, como sería. ¿Cuál es el nombre en esa oración? El principal. De ¿Sí? Mary es el nombre principal. Ok. For that reason, ¿a quién le debo de agregar el apóstrofe la S? Mary's car. Ok, Mary's car. Ok. I need more example. I know that you have in your mind. Bueno, para, para quitarles el sueño, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Voy a compartir con ustedes a través del de chat eh, una actividad que vamos a hacer. Tranquilo que esto no es para ponerles una nota, sino para ver lo que han comprendido. A mi ritmo. Ok, ya se lo comparto. Tranquilo. Ok. Let, let me. Let me do this first. I'm going to paste here. Let me know if you are able to open it. 
Me van avisando si lo pueden abrir o no. Ahí está pegado el link. Solo le hago... Una pregunta, teacher. Ok, chamos. ¿Cómo se llama este tipo de oraciones? Eh, los que estamos viendo ahorita. Possessive adjectives. Ok, gracias. Porque más adelante... Más adelante vamos a ver también lo, lo que son ya uh, los pronombres posesivos, que son diferentes. Estos son adjetivos posesivos. Ok, me van eh, informando si pusieron, si pudieron entrar. Yes, teacher. Déjenme ver cuántos tengo. 14. Me hace falta. Me faltan dos. Tell me. Somebody's having problem in order to get into the link. Alguien ha tenido problemas para entrar, eh, para abrir el link. Yo no, teacher. Bueno, pero me hace falta uno todavía. No sé quién es. Ok, here we go.
the next question. Next one. And the last one. This is the last one. Okay, now I can check uh, who the mistake. But don't worry about that. I already shared with you uh, the three best places. Try to compartir los tres mejores lugares. La actividad que hicimos. Veamos quién hizo el primer lugar, Ismael. Second one is Carlos. And third one is Yvette. Congratulations. Okay, remember that this activity is just to check what you have learned at this moment. Don't worry that I'm going to put this grade in the, on the chart. No, no, no. No se preocupen, la actividad es solamente para medir cuánto es lo que hemos aprendido, ¿no? Si alguien apareció ahí con algo bajo, no se preocupe, que eso no va a aparecer en su cuadro. No. Estaba fácil, ¿cierto? No. Yes, teacher. Ok, pretty easy, right? Ok, let us continue with our material. Okay, I already talked about possessive nouns. Our teachers, 
name. Pedro Sadres, Melissa, and Dora's last name. Okay, based on this, you are going to resolve exercise number five. Ask the pattern to spell the following information and write it uh, on the spaces. Use capital letter for proper nouns. For example, your teacher name. How you can use possessive adjectives in order to ask this question? ¿Cómo puedo hacer esa pregunta para que la respuesta sea el nombre del teacher? Or you can just read it in that way. Your teacher name? Could you tell me what is your teacher name? No les creo que no saben el nombre de su profesor. His name is Max Lasso. Okay. His name is named Max Lasso. Okay. Pero vea la instrucción lo que dice. Ask the parent to spell the following information and write it. On the spaces, use capital letter for proper nouns. Hasta le está pidiendo que use letra inicial para escribir eh, los nombres propios. No le escucho mucho. Es porque hay un micrófono abierto. Ahí creo que debemos de colaborar todos. Y en el momento que yo estoy eh, hablando, cerrar los micrófonos. Les voy a agradecer. Ahora sí creo que me oyes. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. The instructions say, ask the pattern to spell the following information and write it on the space. Use capital letter for proper nouns. That means that you need to work with somebody else. And at the same time, you are going to write the answer here using capital letter. But because of the time, we are, uh, I'm giving you some example. For example, here say uh, your teacher name. I am going to write his name is Max Lasso. And then I'm going to spell the name. M-A-X-L-A-Z-O. Okay, that is the way that we are going to to do it. But I need that you keep in mind these four questions or, or yeah, you, or sentences if you want to call them that way. Because you need to work with somebody else. Hagan un screenshot, por favor. O la tienen en su material. Okay, por ahí les han compartido. And number two, say your class name, name, your class name, name. Imagine if I were with Marvin, I'm going to put there, his name is Marvin. A classmate occupation, I need to ask, ask him uh, his occupation. What do you do for living, Marvin? I work in factory. But, but what do you do? What is your um, Auxiliary. And the bodega. How do you say in English? Bodega. Warehouse. Excuse me? Warehouse. Warehouse. Yes. Auxiliary warehouse. Yes. Warehouse auxiliary. Yeah. Warehouse auxiliary. Warehouse aux warehouse auxil auxiliary. Yes. Ahí también estamos haciendo un eh, nombre posesivo. And the last one, a classmate last name. 
all depend. If we are talking about a lady, we are going to say her last name is. But if you are talking about uh, a man, you are going to say his last name is. But let me see the time that we have. Well, I guess it's, um, I'm going to share with you something else. Let me try to do it now. They have made way of compartir this in Arigua or Let me try to do it because sometimes it's really difficult. Si no puedo hacerlo por Zoom, luego se lo voy a enviar próximamente por WhatsApp. Es, una, es, una, es un ejercicio, tiene 20 oraciones y usted lo que va a hacer es only just to choose the, the right uh, possessive adjectives. Solo va a elegir cuál es el, el, el adjetivo correcto. Okay, try to download it. You got it there. Se los he puesto ahí en el chat de Zoom. Vean si lo pueden descargar, por favor. Try to do it. Try to do it now. No me aparece. No, teacher. No aparece, teacher. There. Really? Yes. No aparece. No, teacher, no aparece. No aparece nada aquí. No sé qué nos está sucediendo con el chat. Tal vez ahí donde dice Every Young. Nos dijo que sí. le recordáramos de la lista. Creo que tiene que pasar lista otra vez. Bueno, se lo voy a compartir a través de. Teacher, y ahí donde dice tú, y hay varias opciones: inglés corporativo, everyone. Ah, tal vez está esta opción activada. Okay, hold on a second. I, I, I'm going to show you at least in order that you can take a look at that. Para que le den una miradita así rapidita. Y yo se los comparto. Teacher, ¿cuánto dura la, la unidad 1? Uno? Generalmente vamos por una semana. Son cinco temas. Y luego viene un review de todos los temas. Okay. Ahorita, por ejemplo, what I show you, you can find it in, uh, on page number 16. And tomorrow, what we are going to do is just a, a review related with all the topics that we have studied. El día de mañana lo que hacemos es un repaso de todos los temas que hemos visto. Y de esa forma eh, terminamos de afianzar el conocimiento. Algo que no le quedó claro, aprovecha el día de mañana y dice, ah, en este tema necesito esto. What I want to show you is this. Of course, I know that we are so close to, to finish because of the time. This is something that you are going to resolve. Traten de resolverlo. No, no es para poner una nota como ya dije. Complete table, personal pronoun. 
Estos son los pronombres personales. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And I have here at the right side possessive adjectives. The I se desprende my, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. Y lo que ustedes van a hacer, si tienen el tiempo necesario, lo completan. Y si no hacen, hasta donde puedan. Y mañana en el review lo vamos a completar. Uh, what I want is just to give you just some examples related to this. Let me get bigger. Ok, creo que por ahí sí ya lo logran ver bien, ¿cierto? Yes. Ok. Uh, yes. Complete with the yes. possessive objective. For example, he is my friend. Ok, ¿qué continúa aquí? His name is Brian. Is my name is Brian. Mm, you need to be careful about that because sometimes you don't need to put anything because it's, it's complete. Susan has got a new car. Uh -huh. Hair. Susan. Her Susan cars is very nice. Mm. Tenemos que ver los ejemplos anteriores para que no nos confundamos. Y ahí hay, hay varias oraciones que son como tricky tricky, ¿no? Son como trampas para ver si realmente usted entendió esa parte o no la entendió. Se lo voy a decir de una mejor. Hay oraciones que no necesitan nada. Pero los espacios están ahí. Pero usted tiene que estar seguro o segura. Si realmente. Eh, necesita o no necesita. Bueno, yo se lo voy a compartir. Y, y luego lo resolvimos el día de mañana. time. And remember, tomorrow we are going to make a review about all the topics that we have studied. Mañana hacemos un review de todos los temas que hemos visto. Por favor, aliste eh, su cuadernico si tiene alguna duda, pregunta referente a alguno de los temas que ya hayamos estudiado, porque no lo vamos a repetir. No. Okay, I'm going to check up uh, the attendance again. Para el día de hoy le corresponde a Brenda Natalie. Sus 10 minutos, no sé si está. Aprovechen su tutoría, por favor, porque solo es una vez en el módulo. No pueden tener dos, sino que cabalitos están los 20. Y como son 20 días, son cuatro semanas, no se pueden repetir. Al menos que alguien no esté. Ok, Ana Victoria. Present. Present. Okay, Andres. I'm here, okay. teacher. Angel. Present, teacher. Brenda Natalie. Carlos. I'm here. Diana. Present, teacher. Okay, Erika. Present. Evelyn. Present, teacher. Ingrid. Present, teacher. Ismael. Present, teacher. Jose Alejandro. Present, teacher. Julia. Present, teacher. Katia. Present teacher. Luis Armando. Present. Marvin. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Michael. 
Present. Rosalie. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. And Sonia. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Chao. Hello. Eh, Natalia se desconectó desde las 9 y 18. Hola. Natalia se desconectó desde las 9 y 18 por el bebé. Sí. Ella le, le tocaba los 10 minutos. A ella le correspondía la tutoría. Pero si quiere, usted puede hacer el switch y, y puede hacer el cambio con ella. Ah, ok. Está bien. Eh, Picho. Pero si no, pues usted espera su, su turno como usted gusta. Ok. Voy a esperar el turno, Picho. Ok. Si tiene okay. alguna duda ahorita, también se la podemos aclarar. ¿Cómo va en la plataforma? La plataforma hasta hoy la pude abrir. Hice algunos, eh, algunas tareas. Ok. Pero no sé si le aparece a usted ahorita lo que he hecho, he, he completado la tarea. Alguna tarea. Generalmente, cuando ya han hecho alguna actividad, automáticamente me va apareciendo. Ah, ok. Sí. Perfecto. El okay. día de mañana eh, que hacemos el cierre de semana, le voy a ir eh, recordando cómo van, quienes ya avanzaron y quienes no, para que así okay. se vaya a al día, porque. Es necesario, no podemos ir dejando mucho tiempo. Ok, perfecto, está bien. Ok. Good night. Ok, good night. Thank you very much. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay.